Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We are inside a cellular sales this morning with Casey Jones. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for having us oh. here today. Yep, yep. We're going to talk a little bit about you in a second, but first, of course, we want to know what's going on at cellular sales right now. You are hiring. All the time. All the time. All the time. Is um, it, is, it is an uptick because it's a, it is a busy location. Mm -hmm. There are, there are plenty of opportunities, plenty of shifts available, um, and it is a full-time opportunity, so Love this that. is available. I know a lot of people, you know, had a struggle uh, throughout 2020 with mm -hmm. job changes and mm -hmm. finances, and it's nice to know where businesses are hiring right yep. now, and yep. you guys are locally um, hiring right here in Rockford. Correct, correct. We're going to talk a little bit about if you're going to upgrade a phone. You want to come in, you want to upgrade your phone or your service. What if we just walk in and say that? Is there something else we need to be prepared for? When you pick a new phone, it's an investment over time and money, so expect that as well as you want to know everything, we want to know everything about you so we can get, put you in the right device. That is a really good point because sometimes we don't think about that because when we deal with our phones every day, it's quick interactions with our own phones. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. getting a new one mm -hmm. is not like a 10-minute stop. No, no, It's going to no. be a little longer. By the time you get to the desk, it took 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so plan ahead uh, to be able yeah, to spend yeah, some time yeah. here. Um, we do take walk-ins, but appointment base is, is, is huge here. You can call in the store, and it's best to keep up with the rep who helped you. Sure. Um, because we are here for that, that client, and then if I knew what you came in for initially, then when you come back, it's going to be easier for us to continue on with that uh, situation. You're like a phone doctor. You can say. Yeah, you don't want to read the whole chart. <laughs> right, right. You want to know. Exactly, when you exactly. Walk in. Every time it's a rescrub is what we yes. call it. Like, oh, okay, it's two phones, three phones, you know. So yeah, you want to know what's up. Okay, awesome. So Casey, we want to talk about you a little bit. So we are okay. celebrating Black History Month uh, this okay. morning on Good Day State Line. So we want to know just about your professional journey, how you landed here. I started in McDonald's in high school. Uh -huh. Even before then, I was working in seventh grade, cleaning up in a barber shop. So I would like to say I always been geared towards working. My mom was a good teacher. She always worked. She had a couple jobs, mm -hmm. uh, careers as well. So it was that was in, in, implanted in me as I was young. Nonetheless, after that, you know, going to college, things like that, I've I was in the cab for a little while at CST Storage, um, warehouse work. And I wasn't gonna do that forever. Mm -hmm. um, then my family and I, we moved to Chicago, uh, just trying to find something to get on our feet then, and that's when I kind of got into sales, didn't know it. Xfinity um, had an ad in Indeed okay. saying $70,000, and I'm like, yes? Yeah. yeah okay, what, what can <laughs> we do? I'll just do it. Right, right. <laughs> you know, Xfinity can't be that bad. It's internet, TV, $70,000, that made sense to me. Um, but I'm going door to door, passing out flyers, and I get back to the office, they're like, dude, you hit like 100 some doors. What are you telling these people? I'm like, well, they can call us. He's like, you need to sell something. I'm like, what? <laughs> Sales? Like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, get out of here. So that's that's where it started. Uh, got a couple years there, and then um, it had a big layoff. Uh -huh. It had a big layoff and went through the ups and downs of being in and out of career, just doing little side jobs. But thereafter, I think I was uh, uh, applying for uh, plenty of jobs, and I got the call from Save the Sales. And, that, that's that's where it landed here. You've um, been here for you said for as long as Good Day State Line. Yeah, been just alive. about uh, <laughs> just about June of eighteen. Yeah, okay. Was when uh what we call I got coded here. Okay. So anybody <laughs> that would sell you a sale, they'll know what that means. Sure. Um, and that's when I started. That's awesome. So, what does diversity in the workplace mean to you? Different people, um, different opportunities, different tasks. It's not just the person that walks in, but it's the situation it brings uh, with that person. Uh, diversity doesn't come from color. Mm -hmm. it, it comes from your experiences. And what we do is we invite all experiences here and, and let everybody live their own story. Whether it's here the rest of your life or a stepping stone, that's what we're here for. I love that. What is your favorite part about working here? The team. I played football for 11 years, elementary, high school, college. It still gives me that atmosphere mm -hmm. of being a captain, you know, <laughs> going after a goal and being here for one another because without, without the people around us, right, a place that get this busy will go, you know, go bananas with just one person here. So uh, that, that's, that's huge to me. Bananas is my favorite <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs>
Bananas isn't actually my favorite word. Plethora is, actually. I just like to say things are bananas. So I appreciate it, Casey. Coming up next on Good Day Stateline, Rhonda Greer Robinson is guiding us through talking about race in today's political climate. And later, Chanel McKinney is back with us to talk about what she's done for black businesses in DeKalb.